Oh, hello, integrals and the French rolls. It's Dull. Welcome back to my kitchen. And today I'll be serving you a Mega Galley deck video. Now, I said last time in my Infarl's lit video that I would be doing this. And the reason is because I noticed there are a lot of low hit point decks going around. They're popular because there are a lot of new cards that make them strong. Vespa Queen is very fast. Uh, Evolutions allows these kind of decks to prey on your weakness. So what really just pokes at their weakness, at their low hit points? And I think Mega Galley can do it. Now in Wavering Blade, does 110 damage. Enough to one-shot those kind of, uh, whoever is in the active for those decks. But if uh, their bench, if they have one damage counter on them, or at least one, it does 30 additional damage. So with a couple of sweeps, you can just destroy the entire field. So this is what Mega Gallade does, and this is the primary card of the deck. Now it balls from Gallade, which is also strong. Gallade Swift Lunge, its first attack is there to buy you time. It forces the active Pokemon to switch, which can be annoying because they may be charging up their active and now it's forced to go back to the bench. Now, Piercing Prizes has a very high damage potential, up to 170 at the start of the match. It goes down by 20, but still 170 is a lot. So it quite has a lot of power, even over its mega version in the single target damage. Now, uh, this main synergy to Mega Gallade is Fortress. When it evolves, it tags the entire field with one damage counter, and you can see how that works with Unwavering Blade, does 30 damage to any Pokemon with a, a damage counter, and also it can attack with uh, just regular Psychic Energies, which this deck uses. Iron Crash, 20 plus 20 more damage for any uh, retreat cost uh, to your, from your opponent, so it's if a heavy retreat cost Pokemon is going to get hurt a lot. But it works as a nice secondary attacker. You're going to see that uh, final match or a couple of matches. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have Deoxys to help fill in. Now, Deoxys, it's not there for power, but utility. Uh, with Close Encounter, you can attack on your first turn, and it draws two more cards. So the longer Deoxys stays in the active, the more cards you'll get, and the faster you can set up your Mega Galley. Now Overdrive Smash does 30 damage the first time, but 90 subsequently. So this is very energy efficient provide. You can just do a little damage on your first turn. Sometimes you have to. You can threaten an EX Pokemon if they're too slow, or you may have to squish a couple of bees with it. You might see that in a bit. So these are my core Pokemon. I'm running just eight regular energies and four mystery energies. They give my psychic Pokemon a free retreat. You know, so the Oxus, when uh, when it's done getting meme cards through its close encounters, they can just come back and send out Galay. Or if Galay's wounded can come back, you get the idea. Now my draw system is a bit funky. I've used this in a couple decks. I've never explained it. But Skyfield is there to unlock my bench to 8. And this is critical for the draw system I'm using, which is the 4 Shamans. Now 4 Shamans normally takes the spot of like Sycamore or Birch, but I'm using Four Shamans. And this is because through its ability, there's no lock on its supporters. Only one supporter a turn, Shaman, you can just continue to play them. You're gonna see a very good example in a bit of how this could pull through and just set up, help you set up quickly. So there's gonna be Four Shamans for that reason. And I know Dimension Valley is the Psychic Pokemon Stadium. We're gonna go without it and we're gonna use a different form of acceleration just Mega Turbo. For Mega Gallade, uh, one energy in this card goes straight to Mega Gallade. Just only two of them, and we can still set up just fine without it. Now, as well, I have Super Scoop Up. This works pretty much. I'm going to use all my Scoop Ups on my Shamans. I don't really want to get stuck with AZ, but Super Scoop Up takes, uh, takes those cards back up into my hand, allowing me to well, repeat Shamans with card draws, repeat four retros, apply those damage counters, and works as a retreat and as a full potion, max potion as well, completely healing Pokemon off. So it's very versatile. Normally this spot would take a verse seeker, allowing me to repeat supporters, but I'm using trainer mail because uh, I want to be able to grab spirit links as well. Spirit links for mega galley, be able to grab mega turbo and other trainers. So this is a bit of a trade off for not being able to repeat supporters, but Hey, I'm not, I'm using a shaman engine. So that, that kind of, 
you can see why that's there instead of support for seekers. Now, I'm running four Ultra Balls. This is to shrink my hand when I play my Shamans so that I can actually draw cards. And because my deck is so Pokemon dependent on like Fortress and all, I'm running three additional Pokeballs. I can't put any Ultra Balls, so this will do. Now, these take the spot of Pokemon Fan Clubs or maybe Great Balls, but I really want to pinpoint on the cards I want because having the right Pokemon is important for this deck. Now, let's see, I have Lysander. Yeah, he's picking apart Spoden's weaknesses. Gotta have this, and you see every game, well, he just makes a difference. Now, we skipped over Shauna because Shauna is just a safe support draw card that you put in most decks. And I think I covered everything. So now I'm going to show you how this deck works. I have five matches. Two of them are Charizards. Why? Because verse, the verse rewards are all fire Pokemon. So you're pretty much going to run to one of them when you're playing. And Vespa Queen, because that's just the popular meta deck to go. It's cheap. And this is what this deck was designed to destroy. So of course, there are going to be Vespa Queen matches. You know, I guess we'll stick a fairy uh, deck where uh, Kale just sweeps them all. And I do have a bonus match with a pretty bad echo, but let's see if it's uh, worth seeing. And that'll be at the end. So, you're Let's still here. Excellent. So, welcome to another Mega Gallade um, Fortress match. Oh man, this is not looking good. I don't like Pyroar, but well, I, I can handle that. I can handle that. Midnetric, Bolt Corona. So, he's gonna try and find basic Pokemons and, you know. Those don't look like they have too many hit points, so I think I got this. So I'm gonna send Galate in front. Pineco's in the back. Pineco's pretty happy about that. He's like, yeah, you stay up there. And Galate's like, I got you. I got you. Let's go ahead and put an energy on. Fortress is able to evolve. I hope he fills up his bench a little bit more, so that'd be cool. I played the, the defective ball. And man, three trainer males. Three trainer males. I definitely want an Ultra Ball. This is more important to me now. I can Ultra Ball the Trainer Mails, which is what I might, which is probably the best thing I can do. You know what? I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna grab Shaman. Not gonna play it because next turn I can lose two more cards. So, I'll end my turn. I'll end my turn. He's gonna be like, "What? You got Shaman? Why didn't you play it?" Oh, Charizard EX from the Burst Ladder Reward. You know these things can be dangerous because they can hit that high and they can charge itself up. So he's gonna be charging up Volt Corda. Hey, that's like the last video. So, you know, let's go ahead and evolve it. Tag all those bench Pokemons. Yep. A little bit on you, a little bit on you, and a little bit on you. Okay. Let's go ahead and put an energy on and outplay Shaman. And four more cards. That's what I was going for. There we go. Spirit Link of this works out. This is a lucky ball. Are you a, you're a lucky ball? It's a lucky ball. So I'm going to grab out a gap blade. We can start destroying the bench next turn. Unless unless there was an energy down here. I got, nope, there was not. So I can't play Mega Turbo. Let's go ahead and throw the Oxus down. See if this is this works. Super Scoop up. Are you lucky? It is lucky. It's a very lucky Super Scoop up. <laughs> He's going to get up. Yep. Well, uh, I guess that was here. Cool. Excellent. So welcome to the Mega Gallade. Fortress match and Pineco is gonna be starting out in front. He's like, um, why'd you do that? I'd rather be on the bench. And what is this? This is gonna be a Vespa Queen. Well, and he's gonna use Wally. This is gonna Vespa Queen out right on his first turn. Let's see how fast he can set up because this can be very bad. Oh dear. That's bad. Luckily, he cannot attack the first turn. So, we're gonna put down Skyfield. We're gonna use. Pokeball, Pokeball, please work, please work. So it worked, and um, this could be a Shaman. I'm definitely gonna put grab a Shaman. Let's put an energy on you. Let's play a Shaman and see if those next two cards can be good. Yes, they are. Excellent. Yeah, he evolved Pineco. Oh, this thing has no retreat. I think that was a bad idea. Let's play Shaman now. Hopefully, hopefully something good. Come on, Drainer Mail, pull the Gallade. I don't even have that yet. I don't even have Galley yet. So I'm missing my core Pokemon. It is not coming out. Pyko is just going to kick the bucket. He's like, uh, why'd you do this to me? What? This energy. Why'd you put the energy on me for? So. So. No retreat cost whatsoever. 
I can ram it, and we'll see how this goes. He's gonna play Tierno, three more cards. Vespa Queen, the whole Vespa Queen. I'm screwed. I'm totally screwed. I am really screwed. 30 damage to me. Woo! You know. Let's see what this is. Give me an Ultra Ball, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I can discard my stadiums. Don't need them anymore. And now let's bring out the card that I really, really want. Fortress? Nope. Nope, sorry. It's gonna be Gallade. It's gonna be Gallade. Gallade with the Spirit Link. And I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge you up. There we go. You're charged up. End my turn. Yep, this is gonna go. This is gonna be okay, guys. We're gonna catch up through this. He's gonna discard my Sky Field. Another Vespa Queen goes up. But he doesn't have that many cards in his discard. 30 damage. Sorry, Pineco. At least. At least, uh, I don't know. There's no at least. There was, I was gonna say there was gonna be a mega turbo. A bull energy to this card. So here we go. Excellent. It's gonna be heads. We really gotta catch up. There's one shaman. What? One shaman left? Oh, yeah. Three shamans. Three shamans. So one of them is in the bench. And a Shauna. Perfect. So I can mega gallate my Pokemon. But I'm. Mega gal. I can mega evolve my Pokemon. I like my hand the way it is. I definitely want an Ultra Ball, though. So let's go ahead and throw those. Throw this. And a Spirit Link. No. These cards are a little too crucial. I'm just going to go and buy some time and use Close Encounter. So, he knows what's going to happen. Where is my... Where's my Fortress? Well, I know where one of my Pinko's gone. So more of Combees are ready, but there's no cards in the discard. It's just a very light amount of damage. So now I can throw away Deoxys, as well as one Shauna. I can afford two. And we're gonna grab, we'll grab Mega Gallade. So there we go, Mega Gallade down on the field. And I need a Sky Field. Let's go ahead and put an Energy and I need a Sky Field. I need a Sky Field, guys. I need one to put Fortress and harm them all. There's Fortress. There's the Sky Field, which is gonna go and attack. And you know, I think, I think, I'm, there's the combo. This is exactly what I wanted. Mega Galay could go and just sweeping, sweeping away against this field. So, do not discard my Sky Field. Do not discard my Sky Field. Gonna tickle me. All right, all right. Luckily, my this Vespa Queen deck doesn't isn't as fast as it could be. So, this is exactly where I want my hand to be. I'm just gonna keep on drawing more cards and it can survive two more attacks unless he starts discarding more cards somehow. He needs unknowns, he needs to use battle compressors. He apparently he doesn't have it yet. So this is the last turn, Deoxys is like, I got, I can't take it anymore. You gotta retreat me, you gotta retreat me. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna retreat him, but we need to start charging something else up. First of all, let's evolve this. Tag all his combies. Yes, please put it for damage counter on all of them. And we're going to We're gonna retreat. It is up. You're up on now on the plate. And let's see, who am I charging up next? It's probably going to be Fortress, unfortunately. What? Shauna. Shauna, where's my Gallade? I really want my Gallade to come out. Oh, this works? This is it's a lucky ball. It's a lucky ball, it's not the effective ball. It's effective ball. Shoot. Shoot. Alright, fine, fine, fine. A wavering blade, knocking out this best between. And tagging them all with a lot of damage. Knocking two Pokemon out. So that that combi is not even gonna have a chance to attack. Now he's gonna play level ball. There are no more combis, no more Vespa Queens. There's gonna be unknowns though. And you know by knocking all those Pokemon cards out, Vespa Queen got stronger. Vespa Queen got stronger, but only 70 damage. That's why I haven't made a Vespa Queen get that guys. <laughs> he's just gonna give up. Yeah, we can see the end of that, but well, that answer was a little too fast, so let's see if this one's a little better. So this was just started a little bit. He's got Florges, quite a very fast Pokemon uh, out in front. You know, that's a bit dangerous. That is very dangerous. Let's go ahead and play this Sky Field. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Play Ultra Ball, throw away one of these energies as well as the Spirit Link to grab a Galley. So, those were some good cards. I was hesitating because I needed those cards. I needed them, but 
Well, that's that's just how it works. So there we go. Spear Lightning. I have only one card in my hand, so this is five additional cards. I've got another Ultra Ball. I definitely will be able to do that again. So we'll definitely do that again. Throw away these two cards, these two extras, and we're gonna grab another Shaman. So let's go ahead and put an energy on the Axis. Now this time I'm gonna get four cards. That's gonna work out. I can get another Shaman. Okay. Well, you know what? It's asking for it. I got four Retros. I got extra Lysanders, and you know what? We'll do it again. We're just gonna. This is the lucky, lucky, lucky hand. And he's like, what? He's. Oh, no more Ultra Balls. Unless this is an Ultra Ball, because that could be. Um, how many Mega Galleys? Okay, let's throw away Skyfield and Mega Galley. Let's play the Fort Shaman on my first turn. There we go. All the Shamans, I have one Mega Galley left. Got Lysander, and here we go. Close encounter, big giant hand. That never happens, guys, but when it does, when it does, when it does that, you just saw when it does, what happens when it does. So he's like, oh man. Now let's take a look at the damage so far. I've burnt all my Pokeballs, I've burnt all my Shamans, I threw away, uh, I have one Mega Gallade and two Mega Gallade, so I'm only gonna get one out. Hopefully this will this will be okay. So Florigus gonna come out to you 60 damage shoot this Deoxys is not gonna survive next turn. Okay, let's go ahead and mega evolve my Gallade. I'm gonna go ahead and play an energy. There's way too many energies in this hand. You know, let's see if this Pokeball is lucky. Are you a lucky ball? You're not a lucky ball. So let's go ahead and just save that Fortress. I can Lysander something out. Can Lysander it out? Let's go ahead and take this EV. Put that uh, floor guest in the back. Doesn't buy a little more time. So I'm gonna use Deoxys. Now that he can't, now that uh, he can't destroy next turn, I'll just grab cards until I'm I'm ready. Hope you put a Fairy Energy on EV. This thing will automatically evolve it into a Sylveon. And he retreated it. He's like, no, I'm gonna get rid of you. I'm gonna get rid of you. So. You know what? I'll send a Shaman out, because I'm going to try to scoop it back up. So, there we go. I have way too many energies. But you know what? Like I said, I might just scoop it back up. Except it's not going to work, so I may just have to end up retreating it. Eh, uh, eh. Yeah, I'll just end my... Sadly, end my turn. Mega, Mega Galley wasn't ready to go, and I was ready, not ready for it to take some damage. So, Shaman, I'm sorry. I, I'm going to give him two prize cards for that. But you know what? I like my Pinecos. You can put a Head Ringer on it for no darn reason. Because I'm never ever going to attack. If you don't know what Head Ringer does, it just makes me... Uh, adds another energy cost to my attack. So, we're going to... Is Mega Turbo... Do I have an energy for Mega Turbo? Because I might take the risk. I do not have an energy for Mega Turbo. Let's go ahead and just evolve it now. It's time to do something. I'm going to go and play Foretris. Tagging this entire... Field. There we go. A little bit on you, you, and you. Now, I don't want to draw the Oxus again, so we're going to do this before I play Shauna. Get one extra card that I start with. Don't need a Spear Link. I need a Super Scoop Up, like that. Yeah, this works out. This will be epic. This will be awesome. May not work out, like that. So, yep. Sorry, Shaman. You're just going to have to take the hit from me. So he's like, yes. I'm going to take a Shaman out, get three prize cards, and gonna have to deal with the Mega Galley. So, he's gonna charge up his Sylveon. And Sylveon's not too dangerous. He can remove my energies, sort of, but it's kind of just pretty much charging my bench. Nothing's really gonna happen because of the way I have my hand right now. So, here we go, Unwavering Blade. I wanna keep my hand, not gonna play Shauna, and hit his entire bench. So, Okay, it looks like I'm going to have to attack Florgas. This will knock out Spritzy. This will not knock out Slurpuff and Sylveon. And if he puts more bench Pokemon down, I really just want to grab another Foretress. Although if there's only one more Foretress, as I don't have any more Ultra Balls. So, he's going to evolve Aromatisse. Maybe he's going to move his uh, energies away from uh, Florgas. Nope, he's not. He's going to put energies... No, he just... 
spreading his energies around, which is safe. Gonna do 80 damage. He did not get any more bench Pokemon, so the damage is low. So let's use this Pokeball and see if it works. It is a lucky ball. It is a lucky ball I'm gonna grab. Not a Fortress. It's somewhere in my bench. Prizes. Well, in that case, I'll just grab a Galade, because uh, I know I probably both my Mega Galades are down there. Let's just go ahead and throw them down. Put the Spirit Link. And let's put an energy on who's going to be my second. My second is going to be this. Deoxys. You're going to be my second. Let's go ahead and shot him because, you know, I may like some Lysanders. Yeah, well, there we go. Lysander. Unwavering Blade. We're going to take out Florgus and deal a lot of damage to his bench. I think they're not going to survive next turn. I think I'm just going to take it. So, there we go. Mega Galilee is wounded. Sylveon is up. And what Sylveon will do is he can use Curly Ribbon. And just to remove one of my energies, I'm just gonna pass it back onto like Fortress of Deoxys. He's gonna move those energies up into Galley? No, he doesn't want to stall. He wants to deal damage. If this is all he can do, that's it. So, nope. He he moved aside to move the damage. I don't get a choice. Too bad. I could have Mega Turbo. I I think I could have, but I had the energy. And this is it. A big sweep. We're gonna knock out. <laughs> Three Pokemon, he's gonna say GG will play. I'm gonna say GG too. There we go! Knocking out his entire field in one sweep. We're still here. Excellent. So, welcome to another Mega Adelaide Fortress match. Now, between Shaman and Pineco, Pineco's gonna come out and he's like, okay, boss, I hope you know what you're doing. And I'm like, I, I know what I'm doing. So let's just hold Shaman and what do we got? We've got the Mighty Entei and a Pikachu. Now both Pokemons can be terrifying if they charge you. So, what can I do? Depends what's in the mail. If the mail comes and it's a sh Ultra Ball, that's totally awesome. Now I see a Mega Turbo. So one of my discards is gonna be you. Lysander. Alright, I don't really want to throw away Lysander, but I have to. So let's start this Mega Gallade uh, going. Or Fortress. You know what? Pineco's up in front. I changed my mind. I'm going for Fretress. Let's go ahead and put an energy on it. He knows Fretress will be ready to go. And, oh hey, a Pokeball. You know, this time I'll take a Gallade or something. Nope. Unless this is a defective ball. This is a defective ball. I'll end my turn. Now, NJ's got fire damage. And my Pineco's weak to fire. So he's like, this is looking bad, boss. You should really retreat me right now because I don't want to go down. And now he's got Eevee, oh, Evolution and Raichu. He's got Rainbow Energy, that's gonna deal 10 damage to Entei, but if Flame Screen hurts, it's gonna do a lot, nice amount of damage to me. So, the Retreat cost is two, so Fortress will be able to do quite some good damage, but I think Entei's gonna win out in the end. So, I've got enough energies to attack. This is a pretty terrible hand, I hope something comes up soon, like a Lysander that I could've used. But instead, discard it. And now, since Fortress can attack, it's going to use Iron Crash, 60 damage. And uh, if, if Entei didn't have this Flame Screen ability, I probably could have taken it out. But it does. This Flame Screen is going to shield it. And this. Oh, for Nurse Joy is going against me. I take 60 damage, and this is bad. Okay, this is not bad. I can hunt a Gallade. It can go up and uh, up and running next turn. Let's go ahead and use Iron Crash. Deal not enough damage to it, and uh, we'll soften it. And uh, he's not going to charge up Entei. He thinks Entei is gone. I'm just going to use Flame Stream by some time. And he's got Jolteon up, but you know I'm none of my Pokemon are weak to the evolution thing except with Golurk. So let's see. I can go ahead and evolve my Gallade. Let's. This thing is dangerous. Let's go ahead and use Swift Lunge. It's not going to do any damage due to uh, the Flame Screen's shield. And he's going to send Jolteon out instead, which hurts a lot if he could actually charge it up like with the double colors. And nope, I pass it back. It's going to be Entei. Entei with 130 damage attack. Alright, we might have something to deal with that. First of all, let me charge up Galley. Galley can knock this out. I'm thinking about Mega Evolving, or I'm thinking of just attacking with it. You know what? Let's Mega Evolve. 
Here we go. Mega Gallade is online. This hand is a bit terrible because I should be drawing like another Ultra Ball, maybe a, some sort of trainer, but this is one of my slower hand picks. But I think it'll pull out because, yeah, it'll hold out. I've got Mega online, 220 hit points. It's ready to go. All's good. All good, guys. Entei is ready to go. I wish I had Lysander. He retreated. And he's going to come in up and try to use probably Heat Tackle. Either way, this Entei is going down. He's invested so many energies into this card. And it's just going to lose them all. So, does matter heads or tails. Because it's just going to go down next turn. So, I'm going to throw Galley down. And Unwavering Blade. Here we go. 110 damage. Dealing a little bit of damage to everybody else. There we go. One prize card. Please give me something that I can use that. I can use, I can pull into a shaman. So a little stuck there and finally, finally it works. Pikachu, to whip, the defending Pokemon can't attack. So that may work and he's gonna try to buy some time at this, oh, that may not be good. Electro Ball, 50 damage. That can bring down my Gallade. Gallade's, Gallade's a little worried now. The coin flip will change the game. It is, I cannot attack unless I retreat. I'm going to have to throw away one of my Mega Turbos and my Fortress. So, to grab the Shaman. Finally, I can pull something off. Yep. There we go. I got a Pineco. I've got a Sky Field. Lysander. Let's drag out this Charizard. Let's drag out this Charizard. This Pikachu will not survive. Will not survive if I actually am able to attack next turn. And this coin flip did not work. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's it for now. I think about evolving, playing one of these two cards. I can't play one or the other. So, Professor Birch's observation. Does do you love him? Do you love him? He loves Echo Tenten. Seven more cards. Raichu is up. Oh, I thought it was the other Raichu. Okay. Well, this in that case, my Unwavering Blade is not gonna knock it out. And he's gonna charge up Charizard, but despite. We'll see the coin flip. We'll see if this coin flip works, because this could be a game-changing coin flip. Stoke, I was Stoke. Game-changing coin flip is in my favor. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and involve this uh, yeah, Fortress. This will harm, harm everybody, including that new Electrak that came down. So, Gallade should be able to have two attacks and knock out on his entire bench, which is exactly what I'm hoping. Unwavering Blade, dealing 30 extra damage to all those Pokemon. They all survive with one more attack. Just give you one more attack. Now, I think, I think I'm going to be able to take all his Pokemon out next turn. All of them. So, he knows this. He's going to charge up his Raichu and not his Charizard. Right, here we go. Professor Bird, do you love him? He changed his mind. He's like, okay, just once is enough. Four cards. Oh, Manetric Evolve. Manetric Evolve, so it's gonna be able to survive. Hmm. Well, gotta use Stoke again. You shouldn't do that, because you're just gonna lose all your energies. So here we go, he did that. And I guess he can still choose to do, oh no, no, he's gonna attach all those energies and put them all in the discard pile. Well, okie dokie. So it's, yeah. Now, you know what? Let's go ahead and throw away these cards. Let's draw another Shaman, unless they're prized. Nope, they're all here, luckily. So, gonna draw another Shaman Seed. You know, maybe we have something that we can end the game with. So yes, I'll take that. Let's go ahead and charge up Galay. What's in the mail? What's in the mail? It's gonna be a Spirit Lake. I'll take that. I'll take a Spirit Lake. I've got an Ultra Ball just for an, a Mega Galay coming up. And what? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just grab that Mega Galay. Where are you, Mega Galay? Oh, I don't have any more Mega Galates. I should have known that. But, you know, this shrinks my entire hand for another Shaman. So, there we go. Spirit Link. Don't actually need those. Okay, well, let's just get to the big finale. I think that's all I want to do. I don't really need to play these cards. I don't really need to. Unwavering Blade. Knocking out Charizard. Knocking out Jolteon and Raichu. So, they're all gone except Manetric. So, this is going to be four prize cards in a single sweeping attack. Yep, and another one. I'll, I'll, those ones, this one. I'll take this one too. It's, he just got his entire, entire bench field destroyed. 
Got to put energy. Wait, wait, what could this do? Does 30 damage. I have 90 hit points. Okay. I'm good, guys. I'm totally good. 30 damage. And that's it. We're not going to do anything else. That's it. Unwavering Blade. This Gallade combo just destroyed everything. So, that was pretty awesome. Still here. Well, excellent. Welcome to another Mega Gallade Thrasher's match. Now, Deoxys gets me more cards, so I think that's just going to help me quickly set up for Fortress as well as Gallade. Got Mega Gallade too, so definitely going to put these in the back. Now, Pokeball. I hope this is the Lucky Ball. We're going to put energy on Deoxys. Use the Lucky Ball. Please be a Lucky Ball. Yes, you are a Lucky Ball, so I will play a Shaman. And oh, I will take a Shaman. Play the Shaman. Three more cards. Another for Retrous. A Spirit Link. A Gallade. A Mega Turbo. Oh, just give me another Ultra Ball. Just give me an Ultra Ball. It's not going to be an Ultra Ball. But I'll be sure to Mega get Ball the next turn. So this is going to be a Joltic. Un oh, Vespa Queen. Night March Vespa Queen. For sure. Or just maybe it's just a plain Night March. One or the other. But the power of this deck, the more cards, the more Pokemons in this card, the stronger it is. That's just how Night March works. Gonna destroy that. If I overdrive Smash you right next turn, you're gonna lose. So he's gonna put double colors. Night March does a lot of damage for the more Night March cards down there. He's gonna use an Ultra Ball. Yeah, you need another Pokemon because Overdrive Smash is gonna hit it. Pumpkaboo. All right, there we go. There's the Pokemon. You gotta throw that down, otherwise that would've been a quick match. That'd been a very quick match. Play Sycamore. Oh, he's just gonna discard all those cards. So let's see if he gets a basic Pokemon. Like, you need a basic. Okay. A Meow. What? Okay, I heard the Persian, my new Persian might be good. So, in this case, I'm, I think I'm gonna take the offensive. Let's go ahead and put energy on the Oxus. This may make or break me. Let's go ahead, Mega Evolve. And I'll play the scoop up first because scooping up may get me the Shaman and maybe get the card I need. There we go. Shaman. Give me two cards. See if I could be anything useful. Pineco. Okay, this point, let's just Shana. Let's just Shana. Find those Foretresses. There's the Foretress. So, you know what? I'm, I'm here just to get rid of Joltik for now. So, we'll just go ahead. I'll save my hand. Overdrive Smash. Just enough to take it out. And take out this Meow. So Deoxys, somehow this is his day. This is Deox. Oh! Combi, okay, 40 damage. That's, this could be the Vespa Queen in the back. So, oh, there's the Vespa Queen. I don't, I think this Meow is just not the problem. The real problem is this guy right here. Combi, Combi, Vespa Queen, and hit me hard. So, I'm gonna Lysander it. I'm gonna get rid of it with the Oxus. He didn't attach. What does this do? See, think if this thing has a darkness energy, deals 40 damage. Gonna play Ultra Ball again for what? Unknown? Oh boy. Those Pokemons are stacking into this card pile. Gotta grab a trainer mail and what is it? Another oh battle compressor. Yikes! Battle compressor, what this does? Automatically puts the Pokemons into the discard and that just makes you know Nightmar Vespa Queen much more dangerous. So these are probably gonna be Nightmar Junk. Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo, Joltik. 30 damage. And the Lysander just out. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do. Um, there's no reason for me to play for Retrous. Let's just use Overdrive Smash. 90 damage. Not gonna let the Vespa Queen go online. There we go. So, Deox... Oh, another one. Another one. Great. Do yeah, I do 30 damage? Let's see if I have another Lysander. Nope. In that case, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw one of my Retrous down. Tag everything. Yeah. Yep. One damage counter on all of you. And we're going to use Shauna, because I need energies now. Or Skyfield. Wonder why they don't have come up. So there's Skyfield. There's the energy. There's the energy. I I clicked it. You saw. There we go. Should I risk this? Should I risk this? No. 
No chances. I'm going to go ahead and discard these two cards and grab a Shaman. I was going to try to juggle that Shaman up, but this is better. Six more cards. Another full retro is good. I'll save that for now. We'll use Overdrive Smash. Take this Meowth out. Got it. Combi is out. It can evolve. It's, there's double colors energy. I'm in trouble. Okay. Lucky Helm. Malamar. Best Bequeen. Double colors energy. Are you there? Double colors energy. 120 damage. That's not good. I need a Mega Turbo or something. Yeah. I have a free retreat because of due to my energy, so I'll risk it. There's the spear link. I really don't need that. Let's go ahead and throw another full retros down. Tag it, uh, attack that little back line with uh, some damage. There we go. And the only way the only way I can attack is if this Shauna gets me a mega turbo. Mega turbo! Oh, mega turbo, mega turbo. So that was exactly what I needed. Unwavering Blade. Taking this Vespa Queen out. And you know there are too many Night March cards. So many cards gone. And this Malamar is coming up. It can put me to sleep though. So this been a threat all entire game. There is another Combi. But oh. We gotta shut that down. We gotta shut that down. I, Malamar. You can stay there. So. If I get another full Retrous. I'll take it. If not, I'll just Lysander and just get rid of this, because this is the more dangerous card. You, I can handle. I can, you're, you're no problem. Lysander. This thing is going to be even softened for me to one-shot it. I think this works out. He's got low little cards. Oh. Put me asleep. You know, sleep. This is good. This is good. Oh, heads, I woke up. Perfect. Whew, so I could, you know, you could potentially just stay asleep. All right. Between all the cards, I'm gonna have to charge you up, and this is danger. This is the danger. This little combi, this little combi, I saw it hit 120. It can even one-shot me when it comes up, so not gonna give him a chance to do that. Gonna grab a prize guard, and this thing is so low enough for me for an unwavering blade to come down. So looking at prize guards, we did not... Uh, Lord, looking at this card, three combis are down, four combis are down. We got through all the vest queens, luckily, before they went came up on mine. So this is good. This is good. All right. So, oh, no. Three energies on it. I'm gone to sleep. And it's a heads. 60 damage. Okay, it's just 60 damage. Up to 100. It's just 60 damage. Wake up and end the game, man. Wake up and end the game. You did not wake up. Okay. Well, Fortress is is not so great, but Fortress will be able to one-shot it. I'm going to end my turn. There's a chance Mega Galilee will go down if there are three heads. So he, there are three coins. Three of them could be heads. So Galilee's like, ugh, wake up. Well, he, he, well, he's still sleeping. He, can't, he has no emotions. Sycamore again. Man, burning through all his cards. He didn't even put an energy on there. Ultra Ball, no, all your cards have been destroyed, man. There's nothing left that can help you now. A Joltik, oh, that will help you. A Joltik and the double colors. Let me check how many double colors were gone. Two of them. At least two of them. Two of them are gone. One's on his Malamar. Oh, he, he, can't, he can't attack with that now. So now he's got four, five coins. Malamar's going, one head, 60 damage, I can survive. 120 damage I can survive. Do not be another heads. He got me. He got me. Mega Galilee just slept through that. It's just how threat. Big of a threat Malamar is, but you know. I got the backup. I've got the backup. Fortress, fortunately, is here. Let's play Trainer Mail. This could be a Skyfield. I'm gonna be another Skyfield. Here we go. Iron Crash. Only 60 damage. Why? Only 60. Oh, because his retreat cost is, uh, his retreat cost is only two, so only just 20 and 60 damage more. A little, little miscalculation. Big miscalculation. So, Fortress is like, I almost got it. I almost got it, Donald. Why did, well, hopefully this next Fortress will come out. This is a big stall. Heads, the, another heads. All right, Fortress is gone. Fortress is gone. Is still not ready to go, so I've. You're gonna have to send another Pokemon out until it's ready to go. 
And that Pokemon is going to be Pineco. So sleep, that sleep. All right, Pineco, you're ready to go. I'll end my turn. If he's got Lysander, this will be bad. This will be bad. So come on, knock out my Pineco. Otherwise, I'll be forced to retreat it. Or you may deck, he may deck out. That's a possibility. So this, this is a strange, strange turn of event. Uh, not looking good. Not looking at my discard pile. So he's gonna yet add another energy on, put this pine code to sleep. So it's like, oh well, I, uh, at least I won't. It's not gonna hurt because he's sleeping, so he can't. Work. Well, you know I'm going. Oh, two heads. You just only need one head to take me out. So this is really, really overkill. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna do 240 damage to my poor Pinko. Yeah. So, second Pinko or second Fortress, come and finish the job. 60 damage. Take this terrifying Malamar comeback down. So, last prize card. Shut down Vespa Queen, but that Malamar almost, almost got me. Okay. Was oh, I, I think, think I won. won. I, I think, think I won. won. I. I I think, I think I won! won. What, what the heck? heck? Oh, oh but let's, let's go, go ahead and shred this, this entire bitch and... I knocked, I knocked out, out Mega Rayquaza, Rayquaza, so that's, so that's two, two prize, prize cards. cards. Yes, yes, I knocked, I knocked out that Rayquaza, Rayquaza two, two prize, prize cards. cards. I knocked, I knocked out, out that shame and, and that <laughs> And that was how the best match of the game went there was a echo that I could not remove but it was awesome Mega Rayquaza brought me down to my knees one prize card away Mega Galley was about to kick the bucket and that sweet got me but I really wanted to show it to you and you just heard that echo I couldn't remove the only game that had that so I just uh, showed you the important part now, the entire match will be in the description the way it was. And, you know, I, I think that should be another bonus. So, I do have an additional bonus video where you're going to see the highest hit point Pokemon in the game be played. Wow, Lord EX. And see how, how one of the decks, uh, this deck who's supposed to go against low hit points, works against high hit points. Yeah, that'll be good. And uh, next time. Next time. Fortress is going to be replaced with Crobat because it's the other popular option to deal uh, to trigger Galate's uh, bench damage. So we'll see how this works in the new meta. So that's up in a couple of days. If you liked any of the songs I cooked up for my videos, you can find them on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. Maybe follow me on my Twitter or Facebook page. And hey, please do like, subscribe. And if you do subscribe, I love you. Or you have subscribed. I love you either way. And that's it for now. So I'll see you in a couple of days. Bye-bye, Integrals and Differentials.